Well, he's our neighbor nearby in the Country Club Plaza and a true go-to guy in the KC Live Kitchen. We are so thrilled to have Chaz, our restaurant sous chef, Ian and Denny, back on the show. Wait, wait, let's, let's wait, wait, one more second. Okay. What do we got? What are we, what are we making first? Okay, we're making jalapeno pear soup with roasted uh, spaghetti squash. All right, you, you're like, I'm ready to go. Yeah, exactly. We're going to go. Okay, so now, where, what do you start off with? We have the carrots and the onions. Carrots and onions. Now, you just put in there a jalapeno. Yes, just one. You don't want to make it too. Yeah, with the seeds, mm -hmm. we're gonna puree it so everything will. Okay, work wonderful. Out fine. So one so you, jalapeno because you don't want it to be too much. Yeah. Okay. And then you add the pears. Now, what well. kind of pears do you use? These are Bosque pears. Mm -hmm. And so we're just gonna saute these up. Fantastic. And you want to sweat the the vegetables, get the uh, the flavor extracted. Now, how long do you cook it? Uh, this should probably be about. 10 minutes usually to mm -hmm. sweat them down perfectly. Okay. So a little salt and pepper. Yeah, a little salt now, and pepper. What do you like in terms of seasoning? Does the jalapeno do enough or do you like to add a little spice to it? The jalapeno does enough. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you don't have a jalapeno, you can use uh, crushed red pepper. Like oh, okay. So. And then um, do we have some, is that garlic? Yes, I see? the garlic. So you want to saute and sweat all of these vegetables mm -hmm. first. If you put the garlic in too soon, it'll burn the garlic. Oh, we don't want that. And so you don't want that. And yeah. the garlic does cook really quickly. It does Yes, like it brown. does, it, like so. instantly. So we're gonna cook that up. Fantastic. And now, once that, go ahead. Sorry, oh, once this is uh, uh, sweated and sauteed perfectly, you want to deglaze with some white wine. What that'll do is release anything that's stuck on the bottom of the mm -hmm. pan and it'll add that extra flavor. Fantastic. Also the acidity from the, uh, the wine. Will, do you uh, prefer a certain type of white, white wine for this? Uh, I just use a Chablis. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we'll deglaze so that. a little bit. And it smells wonderful. Now the combination um, of flavors, adding the carrots, what does that bring to it? The carrots just is uh, aromatic. Mm -hmm. um, you usually use, it's called mirepoix. Mm -hmm. uh, it's onions, carrots, and celery. Um, in this case, we didn't do the, uh, the celery because it would probably make it a little bit bitter and we're going for okay. a sweet and spicy sweet on Sweet and spicy, I like it. Yes. A great fall soup. We're finally into fall. Yes. Now what are you adding here? And this is chicken stock. I mm -hmm. always buy whole chickens at the store because you can get a whole chicken for the same price of two chicken right. breasts and you can use the bones to make your own chicken stock. To make stock your own home. stock. And so, it tastes better, doesn't it? Yes, of course. So, we'll there do you that. Go. Mix that. And you want to let this simmer for a little bit. Okay. Um, while that's cooking, we usually have the uh, spaghetti squash mm -hmm. in the oven, 350 degrees for one hour. One hour. Just and then it, it. then it kind of, then you just use a fork yeah. and pull and it apart. And then you take it apart and you use the fork, scrape it, mm -hmm. and it just strands out like spaghetti, which you were mentioning the paleo diet. Yeah, yeah. Trying mm -hmm. to, if you're trying to avoid um, some of those. Pasta dishes is a great alternative. Yes. So then you actually saute. Yeah. So you just want to warm this up mm -hmm. and season it. Fantastic. And you like to add a little bit of salt. Yeah. That. Salt and pepper always brings out the flavors okay. and everything. And then what did you get um, the soup to go from this to that? Then you take all of this out uh -huh. and you put it into a blender okay. and puree it up. Just puree it. And then add the uh, cream, last minute. Is there an option in terms of cream if you're lactose intolerant? Yes, so you can use coconut milk, mm -hmm. or you can also, instead of uh, chicken stock, you can use vegetable stock, that way it's vegan. For oh, everyone. fantastic. So, yeah. And then you just puree it up, and mm -hmm. you end up with this wonderful soup. I love which, that, and you can... plate that right there. Beautiful. And then and then right right on this. top. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Voila! And it really just Beanie. adds some heartiness to the soup. And I love that. I also like to put a little bit of cheese. A little bit of cheese so on top. Works. Now, Chef Ian shared this delicious soup recipe with us, so you can head to our website, kclive.tv, later on today to find it. Um, and with the cooler temperatures this weekend, I think the dish would be perfect. Exactly. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Can't wait.